disulfiram aldehyde dehydrogenase inhibitor used for the management of chronic alcohol use disorder we should also notice that generally it's not first line for alcohol use disorder due to tolerability issues suggested for use in patients with alcohol use disorder moderate to severe who want to abstain from alcohol and either prefer disulfiram or are unable to tolerate or are unresponsive to naltrexone and acamprosate off-label use as a combination therapy with methadone cognitive behavioral therapy or 12-step facilitation for reducing cocaine use in patients with cocaine use disorder u.s boxed warning disulfiram should never be administered to a patient when they are in a state of alcohol intoxication or without their full knowledge. The physician should instruct relatives accordingly. Mechanism of action, disulfiram is a thioram derivative which blocks the oxidation of alcohol at the acetaldehyde stage. When taken concomitantly with alcohol, there is an increase in serum acetaldehyde levels. High acetaldehyde causes uncomfortable symptoms including flushing, throbbing in head and neck, nausea, vomiting, and diaphoresis, thirst, palpitations, chest pain, and dyspnea, hyperventilation, tachycardia, syncope, weakness, blurred vision, confusion, vertigo, hypotension. This reaction is a basis for disulfiram use in post-withdrawal long-term care of alcohol use disorder. Onset of action, full effect 12 hours, duration 1 to 2 weeks after last dose. Metabolism, reduction of disulfide linkage to diethyl dithiocarbamic acid then further metabolized via glucuronidation non-enzymatic degradation methylation and oxidation excretion feces 20 percentage unchanged and exhaled gases as metabolites urine 50 percentage metabolites fda approval date is december 8 1983